Shall we uh, bring in our first guest today? Uh, I think, I think so. we should. And in fact, uh, Kristen, you're our only guest, so <laughs> <laughs> you're <Okay>. gonna be... <laughs> I'll let you do the honors because you know this woman way more than I do. Kristen right. Hayne Noble. She is uh, a home stager and a realtor. And the good news is we've been, I, she was prepping me before the show. You know, we're going over her new ventures and stuff. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. She's got a lot of positive energy. I just love listening to her. She's got a great a wealth of knowledge and energy, and it's just a lot of fun. And her business, the one that we've talked about mostly, um, she changed the name of it because it wasn't as catchy as it could be. And uh, it's called Stage It, List It, and Sell It. Just stage it, list it, sell it, not the end, but anyway. All right, let's start right from step yeah. number one. What is a stager? A stager. Welcome, by the way. Well, welcome, and thank you very much. And now that Pat's given me that great introduction, Mm -hmm. I'm not promising to be as nice back, but he's okay. (laughs) Oh, is she a woman with attitude? I overlook that. I'm a positive type person. It depends. He gives me attitude first. He starts. (laughs) Uh, And she said you were just okay. Right. 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 He's better than okay. (laughs) Home staging. It's something new to Rochester, isn't it? It is, but we're way behind in that. It is Home staging is... When you have somebody come in, and they need to be professionally trained. If they're not professionally trained and they say they're a stager, they're not. Um, A home staging is when you are able to go into a house and know how to arrange the furnishings, how to balance the color, balance the room to make it look bigger, more neutral, and sell faster. Because you just said a second ago here, we're talking about the unemployment rate around here. Between the unemployment, unemployment means maybe people need to sell their more expensive houses. Mm-hmm. There are absolutely less buyers on the market now. So, mm-hmm. And when those buyers come in, like Steve, you said earlier, oh, my wife's always thought about home staging. Well, guess where she probably got that? HGTV. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, HGTV my gosh. She's on there all the time. Has shot, yeah. put a shot in the housing market. So what happens is people walk into a house and expect to be able to walk into it looking like HGTV. Mm. And if it doesn't, they don't know how to do some painting. They're going to go in and say, hmm, well, it's going to cost me $1,000 to paint this room. You know it's not going to. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so they, that's when your price goes down. And since there's less buyers, you have to have your house look the best. And that's where home staging comes in. See, in the old days, you just had to throw a little bread in the oven or bake cookies. Yeah. That's right. People add, always say that. Yeah. You add aesthetically to the, to the uh, environment, and that makes the house seem way more pleasing. Well, right. It, that does. I, there's a lot of tricks. I've blogged on it a lot. The things you could do in the bathroom. You take a little Clorox wipe. You squeeze it behind the toilet. But guess what? <laughs> if the toilet seats up and the toilet's dirty with nice surprises in it, it's not going to help sell your house. Oh, yeah. Bad first bad, impression. Bad, or bad first impression. Everybody's looking at houses online first. If your pictures mm-hmm. aren't good, you're not going to get showing. But are people a little more savvy where they look beyond the first impression? They want to see no. the second, third, and fourth impression? I no. think they're no? worse than they used to be. I think buyers used to visualize. I say, no, 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 no. They can't right? do it. They I can't ju- visualize it now, right? Or I, no? just, I just uh, talk. I'm going to deal with an agent right now who happened to show $800,000 property on the lake okay the whole the people were paying cash they could afford it walk in sees this wallpaper and says and will that they will not walk into the house now that's an extreme but see what home staging and the other thing is there's virtual home staging which we do we can take a picture of an empty room change the wall colors change the flooring and place furniture in it you have to be careful when you do that when you go online so if you're looking at a house online you can make it 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 has Uh to but you have to state on there very clearly yeah. That it's virtually staged, but where that's helped me is if you know and you're looking around, if somebody needs a certain, you know, they need space, they're just absolutely outgrowing their house, but you go into a house with that wallpaper or outdated look, if they're willing to put an elbow grease, what you got to do then is I will show them, okay, what colors do you like? I sit down at the computer and say, this is what it can look like. Or people want to know, and that's where the home staging helps too. You've got to go into a room and say, what's the best bed? What's this to make it look bigger? Kristen Noble is with us. Her company is called Stage It, List It, and Sell It. She is a home stager. This is Property Source Radio on Sports Radio 950 ESPN. Uh, What do you charge for your service? Good question. No, actually, I want to say, too, I have a business partner, and you know her. Who's that? Michelle Weiss. Oh, yeah. She's fantastic. So it's not just me. It's her, and she's Mm -hmm. great. Um, depending, we offer just like, we'll walk through a house and give an estimate. I'm not trying to be evasive, but it really does matter on the house. You figure for two of us to work together for an hour, you know, like we just spent about mm, five hours in this one house. And, mm-hmm. it, and 
And so when you're talking about something like that, it's 750 to 800 bucks. It depends what we have to bring in. We have an inventory too. But I'm sure if it, if it goes well, you're gonna make you're gonna make that well, money back in a moment. We take our own photography. Yeah. Michelle's yeah. the photographer. Okay. She's awesome. Okay. Yeah. And it, you have to have the perfect photographs. And this house, like we just went back to a house yesterday. People don't update their listings. So you see the beautiful spring flowers and mm-hmm, that mm-hmm, yeah. yeah mistake yeah. oh yeah Point that's mistake. true and but you know just to get go on the on uh, what you guys were just saying someone can return ten thousand dollars on that seven hundred dollar potential people investment are, and people around here have to start waking up and doing it if yeah. you're listing a house vacant you're making a major mistake period and you were saying this is the, one of the only places in the areas in the country that does not it's not it's ridiculous done it's absolutely ridiculous you said ridiculous. Raleigh North Carolina California south, everybody it's unheard of California Florida. Okay. Florida, places around the country are doing this. And I mean, I know obviously I'm going to advocate for it. Yeah, because you want your house to look the best in its price range. Mm -hmm. And I've never had negative feedback on how my houses look um, as far as that they're clean and that. Because pretty much people don't hire me. To like come in and sell their house if they don't want to he- if they don't want to hear me say certain things and I've had I did have a client that uh, threatened to make a voodoo doll of me. Oh jeez, nice. really? With a few pins, yeah. Just don't them. don't leave it in the house. Now, yeah. do you have to do you have to bring in furniture sometimes for you your staging? Like yeah. if somebody is is selling their home and they've got you know everything is pretty much out of it, do you ever have to bring in like a dining room table I'll, or? I do it all the time. See, we have an inventory, but a really neat thing I just uh, told the Pat we've actually designed and i michelle and i she did more of this actually than i did we have designed furniture for home staging that we're going to be selling that'll hold 300 pounds i'll bring it in you can jump up and down on it (laughs) um so yeah you have to bring in furniture or you rent it but it depends who you go through what they're offering you can do that or you do some virtual like we have a picture on our website where there was a unfinished uh Attic, and they're telling me to hurry up, so I'm being quiet. No, 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 no. You can keep going. We have until 10 o'clock. I just, one thing I want to ask you, Kristen, is uh, the idea of what you should and should not have around the house. Because, you know, I mean, people say, don't put pictures around the house. Yeah. Don't uh, do not do anything that gives away you who you are. You need to talk to somebody professionally. I mean, the one thing I can tell you, if you have kids, and even though they're driving you nuts, and I've got holiday tips to keep them busy and get your house decorated and keep you sane. Okay. You have to be safe. Mm-hmm. You have your house for sale, you have pictures of your house, and there's a nice little title of your daughter's name. They know where you live, they drive by your house and call your kid. That's what I tell people. I mean, you have Mm. to look safety. Don't put personal personal pictures. No, not a good idea. There is, not that you're trying to be manipulative, but there is a psychology. If the house stinks when you walk in and they know that you had fish for dinner the night before I wrote an article or that your cat's suffering from a hairball problem, you got to do something about it. Your cows can't smell bad. I broil scallops and it stinks for days. I have to run these air cleaners because I can't stand the smell after and scallops can, and bacon. Yeah. yeah, no, but you you can't do that. If you if you want to sell your house, you want to sell it. It's a commodity. It's your mm-hmm. biggest commodity. Either want to sell it or don't. You can't feel guilty about certain things. I did a blog recently. What you can do to help with your kids around the house. You say what shouldn't be in the house clutter. That's what storage facilities are for. You either got to be serious about selling your house. Use those. Get stuff out of there maximize the space, get rid of how much to can of paint. So is this like a like a design on a dime kind of a concept? I'm, I'm going to sell my design home. on a dime. So I'm going to run out. I can literally go to the thrift store and pick up, you know, what some new. What do you new... think I do? We go to garage sales, Michelle and I, we get pictures there. I mean, anything we bring in is very clean, like we bedding in it. You have to, you have to know certain tricks it's just like anything else Mm -hmm. if you go to somebody that does it every day they can do it faster more efficiently and that's what you that's the way i look at it i look at that for all my real estate stuff well this business is like uh, they they really started doing this i i think when they started having those reality shows where they would show you the inside of somebody's home like that show on mtv they've been doing it a long time yes Yes. and they have somebody go in and professionally set up and it's so funny because sometimes they'll interview a celebrity and the celebrity will go through this is my dining room and there'll be candles lit that that never doesn't happen you know what i mean and then sometimes you'll get the celebrity that'll go um i've never seen this room looking like this before you know i like it when they say here's my kitchen and i have no no idea what goes on in here. Exactly. That's always my. Favorite. They all say that. Except they make two. Or except they don't like making turkey. And use a turkey bag, would you? Nice and yeah. moist, no dry turkey. There you go. All right. <laughs> got in Good advice. But you have to. You have to look at a room, and, and I, we always try and look at it from a photography standpoint. And that's where, like, Michelle's got a good eye for that. We look at it from every angle. 
to see what the best shot's going to be. And that's where you're going to, you've got to get clutter out of there. There's Do, nothing wrong. People know you're moving. Put a couple of bins in the garage and label them. I tell, take a picture of what your kids' toys are. Put it on the outside so they know nothing's gone. Give them a couple bins under the bed. I give out stick, and I usually try and give out a little basket of little treats for keeping the room clean. I bribe the children. Doesn't nice. you bribe your children? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cookie. Cookies for breakfast. Mine's 23 years old. There's no bribing him. <laughs> you give him, you oh, give yeah, it all bowl. Is. You give him cash or booze. Come That's on. That's it. In that, and not necessarily in that order. Well, <laughs> you do what you got to do, right? <laughs> this is Property Source Radio with you every Saturday morning from 9 to 10. When we get back, we're going to take a break here now. I do want to ask you about... Uh, de- if your house is for sale, decorating it for the holidays, whether that's a good thing I or a bad thing. I wrote an article on that. All right, we're back in one minute. Stay with us here at Property Source Radio, Sports Radio 950 ESPN.